Hello everybody, this is Rockrin, and today I'll be showing you how to play Pokemon Go on the BlueStacks 2 emulator for PC. Alright, before I begin, full disclosure, emulators and GPS spoofing is apparently against the Pokemon Go Terms of Service. Not that I read it for myself. Uh, you will possibly get banned for this. I have been doing it so far for the last three days and have not been banned yet. So, um, do that at your own risk. You may want to log in with an account that you do not care about. Um, apparently 92% of Americans own mobile phones. I am within the 8% that do not. So if you're in the same boat or otherwise do not have access to the game, this may be a method that you want to do to figure it out. Anyways, uh, this method does work, um, but it will not allow you to walk around to move your location. You will have to uninstall BlueStax 2 and reinstall to reset the location functionality. The newest version of BlueStax 2 apparently for some, for whatever reason, it messes up the app. Um, whenever I was trying to capture a Pokemon, it would actually uh, crash the app itself. So I ended up having to use a previous version. So assuming that you currently have Blue Stacks 2, possibly the newest version, the first step will be go to to go to Control Panel, uninstall a program, and to delete the current Blue Stacks app player. Yes, I want you to uninstall, and you will be prompted here in a moment. Do you want to keep all your apps and data? You wish you want to hit no for this. All right, and it'll bring up your browser and want you to get feedback, which is not necessary for this. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and now that that is uninstalled, you will have to go to your browser. And you can go to Google and type BlueStacks previous versions. All right, and you will get this link here, BlueStacks app player old versions. Click that, and you'll want the previous version, not the most, not the latest one. Actually, let me check that real quick. Two point three point three two. Yes, so you'll want the second one on this current list here. Anyways, um, if you go ahead and download that, which I've already downloaded it, I don't want to waste bandwidth because I will have to reinstall every time I wish to move my location. We'll go ahead and un to install that. Alright, and I'm extracting it currently. Now, I don't have a solid state drive, so it will take a moment, probably longer than most people watching. But if you give that a moment, it will go through. Now, as I was saying, um, for whatever reason, the mock locations within the BlueStacks player seem to be bugged for whatever reason, and the only way I've found to personally override it is to actually uninstall and reinstall. That's definitely a critical component of the experimentation that I've been messing with for the BlueStacks player to make Pokemon Go work, but some of these steps may definitely be unnecessary, but as I said, this is the only method that I've found to make it work, and I've yet to see any indications online that anyone else has made BlueStacks actually work with Pokemon Go. It seems like a lot of hoops to jump through, but I definitely did so to get my Pokemon fix, and you may wish to do so as well. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and go through all this here. Um, all those options are fine initially. However, in a moment, it will ask you if Google wants to know your specific location or something along those lines, which I decline that because whenever it does that, it will reset some of your location settings and we want very specific location settings to make this work. Apologies again for my oral computer being a little slow and for my lack of witty bear to speed it along. All right, and we'll go ahead and start it. As you can see here, I do have an AP pack folder that I made, and APK pack rather folder that I made. And the reason for that is I pretty much downloaded all of the three necessary things that I will be going over, and that way it speeds up the process and also takes an easier toll on my bandwidth, which is definitely limited. All right. And go ahead and go through all these options here. Exit this out. 
For some reason, I see this please wait loading, and it takes forever, especially on my computer. So one thing I do is I click welcome, then click back to Android, and for whatever reason, it does seem to speed it along. So that may be another tip for you. Bring up this disclosure again, because I don't want you to get to the end of the video and complain about it. Like I said, this may not be for everyone, but if you are a Pokeholic, or whatever the hell they call it, for people who like Pokemon, um, you may wish to go through these hoops. Just to be able to play it. So we're still initializing. I like to pop through between these two here every once in a while. Alright, and there we go. And people who's messed with the developer settings and all that, um, trying to make this work, they might have noticed that the set location does not work. However, if you do a fresh reinstall of the Bluestacks app, okay, here's the location question. Improve location accuracy? Decline this. Disagree, because it will alter your location settings, and that's one thing we wish to avoid currently. All right, it's loading channels. We don't care about that. And we're going to go straight to set location. It's this button right here on the left hand toolbar. And for this trial account here, because I don't want to give everyone the world my password and all that, I will. Let's, let's, let's mess around a little bit. Let's go to Anaheim. And we're going to go to Disneyland this, for this one. Actually, that's good. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find Disneyland. I've never been myself. Alright, one moment. Let my cat in from outside. Alright, and let's see. There we go. Disneyland Resort. Alright, Disneyland Park. And let's go ahead and go straight for the middle here. The two options you'll be messing with for this step here is set and this right here, which apparently zooms out from whatever your set location is to recenter it. And I'm gonna go ahead and for the exact center of Disneyland Park for this example here. Not that I intend to play with this account much. Alright, so that has been set. Alright, the next step. For whatever reason, the GPS settings do not work initially if you do Pokemon Go. So what I do is I go to Google once again. And search for Bluestacks developer options. First thing to populate on the Google search. Developer options tool APK for Bluestacks. I downloaded this here and it's currently in my Bluestacks APK folder ready to be used. So let's go ahead and drag that over, otherwise you would have to download it normally. Go ahead and get that disclaimer away. If you haven't read it by now, shame on you. Alright, I'm installing the APK now. Alright, go ahead and click that. You'll possibly get some ads here for whatever reason. I guess that's how they make their money. Go ahead and click off on developer options, click on. My belief is that there's a allow mock locations option within this list here, but it's actually hidden. Um, I don't know what's on the back end of Bluestacks 2, but you will have um, you will have issues with the mock locations. Um, that's why a lot of the previous or the other apps that you can download through the Play Store will not work. So once you do that, go ahead and click that off and you would download the Pokemon Go APK which I guess that's, this one comes from apkpure.com you can find that by googling I'm sure since that's the actual APK from Pokemon Go I won't actually show an example of googling that but anyone who's watching this video I'm sure they can figure it out so go to all apps and Pokemon Go now, we very well may have some issues here. Um, it'll likely want you to sign in with Google, which I've made a temporary revolving Google account just to 
to give this example to prove that it does work. It'll likely prompt me. Um, usually it prompts you... Okay. One step before I go into the actual game itself, let's go ahead and exit that actually, is that you need to go to locations. Now this is where we declined the um, Google specific locations earlier. If you had clicked yes, or agree rather, it will make, it will change your mode, which is, um, it will change it to high accuracy, which uses GPS, Wi-Fi, and mobile networks to de determine location. Now, since we're playing this on PC, we do not wish to do that. We want to do device only, which will give us the GPS locations from whatever apps we're running, which happens to be the default set location app with BlueStacks player. If you do not have this, go ahead and click device only. And... The other option to check is location. Google location history. If you had a previous, in previous version of Android, you will turn off the ability to Google apps to access your location. Yes, go ahead and turn it back on, which does not matter. It will not change your mode. And as you can see here, okay, we're prompted to do the Google account. I'll go ahead and try to remember my credentials to sign into my test account. That's not it. There we go. Okay. Sign in again. By signing in, you agree to two Google's terms of service, blah, blah, blah. Too long, didn't read. And it says it'll take a few minutes, which it will not. And I go ahead and decline this here. Backup and restore and the communication. Okay. That shouldn't matter, whatever that was. All right, and we are logged in there, so that should work now. And it, it does make it a little easier if you go ahead and sign into the Google account before you go to Pokemon Go. I've had some issues as far as being able to put my password into the password field for whatever reason. If I do it afterwards, if, I, if I'm prompted to do so once I bring up Pokemon Go. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and load in, see if it works. Sometimes you'll get a GPS fail error, and one option you can do is to restart Android plugin up here at the settings. Sometimes that makes it work. Sometimes you'll get the GPS failed error if you have not signed into Google yet. And if you go ahead and go through the process, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Anyways, go ahead and hit the birth area. GPS signal not found, that's the same error. Apologies if this is extremely loud, it's definitely loud enough here right now, so I'm going to try to fix it for this one. Alright, there we go. Yeah, sorry about the volume there. Alright, Yes, there's people walking in traffic and all that. Um, Okay, terms of service. Okay, that's the first thing. Go ahead and speed through that. Good enough. Wow, that's extremely loud. Okay, so we're here. And as you can see, we are definitely in Disneyland because this is not my local area. Alright, and let's go. See, the, unfortunately. Okay, here's a tip for you. If you want to get Pikachu, if you have a mobile phone, you can walk away from these guys here so many times, and it, Pikachu will eventually appear on the fifth time that you walk away.
squirrel's caught, and just one moment while I turn this extremely... Oh, there we go. That middle spell check, I went off. Okay, and... Okay, we can't walk. That, that's, that's the issue that we were running through. Unfortunately, this time around... Wow, okay. Okay, so fortunately this time around we did not have to mess with like the, um, the plug-in restart. So it works straight ahead. Um, like I said, you'll sometimes get the errors of the GPS failed before you log into the Google for whatever reason. And as you can see, it definitely does work. Um, some of the steps may not work for you, or may, may not be necessary, rather. But um, it's definitely the easiest way i found. Now, the, unfortunately, you cannot walk in this mode. Um, if you bring up the set location, and this is where my theory about the mock locations coming into play comes into play. Um, if you try to reset the location, let's go ahead and zoom into Disneyland. If you try to click anything, it will crash. So that's where the mock locations comes into play. Um, like I said, I've done a lot of um, experimenting with this. Um, I spent the first 24 hours of the game just trying to make Bluestacks work, and I haven't seen any actual um, anyone else who's given sol uh, solutions for that. For the, for the game itself to actually make it work. Um, my, my biggest advice would be to not cheat blatantly. Um, you may want to stick around your local area instead of you know traveling 300 uh, miles within a minute or whatever. It definitely does make the game itself, as far as the community, um, a lot lesser if you know people are cheating constantly. But me personally, I stay around my local hometown. I don't move very often. I pretty much post up in you know some of these. Um, three Pokestop overlaying locations, and that's about it. Anyhow, if you have any questions, um, feel free to message me on YouTube, where I'll be posting this video, and I'll try to give you some tips and advice um, in how to fix it. Uh, Disneyland is a pretty badass area, apparently. Um, there's a ton of Pokestops. There's people who's dro constantly dropping lures, so um, that may be a good thing. And, yeah. Um, if you... If you have enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe. My broke ass, who cannot even afford a cell phone, could, would definitely appreciate it. Uh, this is my first technical video, so apologies for it being a little rough, but I'm definitely trying to help some people out there who want to get their Pokemon fixed. So Please enjoy. Um, like I said, um, you can't move around, so you have to pretty much wait for the Pokemon to come to you, and they'll do so every you know 10 minutes or so. But if you're playing on your PC, you can definitely multitask, and it's not so bad. So I hope you enjoyed, um, and that's about it. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.